Flying automobiles may appear futuristic, but they are already here in the form of commercial jetpacks and personal air taxis. Here's how they might change the way we travel, work, and live. This is Tech Factuala, and welcome to the channel. For today's video, we will talk about the top 10 things you need to know about air cars. But before we proceed, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. The first Blade Runner film was set in a futuristic Los Angeles in 2019, with acid rain falling from the skies populated with skimmers or flying cars that zipped along aerial highways. Since the film's release in 1982, technology has progressed in ways that Hollywood could never have foreseen. Selfie sticks, murder drones, and hashtag politics to name a few examples. But flying cars still remain a far-fetched fantasy, destined for science fiction novels and theme park rides. Flying cars are, in fact, natural, and they may change the way we commute, work, and live in the following decades. From electric gliders to fixed wing craft and quadcopter drones to advancements in battery energy density, material science and computer simulation have sparked the development of various personal flying vehicles and the navigation systems that will allow them to fly. These planes do not look exactly like the ones shown in Blade Runner. However, they aren't all that far away. Most are constructed with rotors instead of wings, allowing for vertical takeoff and landing. In addition, they are far smaller than a commercial jet. For example, tilt rotors enable more efficient forward flight over longer distances, whereas multi-rotors are designed to reduce noise while hovering. Most importantly, these cars are designed to provide individuals with speedier commutes than traditional modes of transportation, especially in congested areas. The autonomous urban aircraft market is still a bit of a wild west at present. Dozens of startups are vying for the rights to develop commercial jetpacks, flying motorcycles, and personal air taxis. Since the early 20th century, many prototypes have been created by employing a variety of flight technology. Although VTOL projects are on the rise, most of them have taken off and landed on a runway. None have yet been constructed in more than a few numbers. Both on the ground and in the air, a practical flying automobile must be capable of being safe, dependable, and environmentally benign. It must also fly without a qualified pilot at the controls and have low purchase and operating expenses to be widely adopted. Lift there have been numerous sorts of airplane technologies and form factors tested. Adding removable flying surfaces and a propeller to a drivable car was the most straightforward and oldest way. When traveling by road, however, such a design must either tow its removable sections on a separate trailer or leave them behind and return to them before continuing. Like the Terra Fuga transition, other fixed-wing conventional takeoff designs have foldable wings that the car carries with it when driving on the road. Vertical takeoff and landing are appealing because it eliminates the requirement for a runway and enhances operating flexibility significantly. As a result, rotocraft and ducted fan-driven lift combinations are standard designs. Unfortunately, the majority of design proposals have flaws. For example, ducted fan aircraft such as the Molar Skycar are prone to losing stability and have never exceeded 30 to 40 knots. A 1.6 liter petrol engine powers it. Anything that flies need a lot of power to create push, which necessitates a powerful engine. The air car, ironically, is powered by a modest 1.6 liter petrol engine with a maximum output of 140 PS. According to its creators, the air car's range is projected to be 1,000 kilometers, and it consumes roughly 18 liters of gasoline each hour. Safety Although commercial flying is statistically safer than driving, personal flying cars may not have as many safety inspections and pilots may not be as well trained as commercial planes. Humans already struggle with driving in two dimensions. Adding the up and down aspect would make driving even more difficult. Mid-air crashes and technical breakdowns might cause the plane to plummet from the sky 
or make an emergency landing, resulting in fatalities and property damage. Poor weather conditions such as low air density, lightning storms, heavy rain, snow, or fog can also be challenging and impact the aircraft's aerodynamics. However, in the future, this difficulty could be overcome by creating self-flying and self-driving cars. Mechanically, the demands of flying are so stringent that every chance to save weight must be exploited, and a typical airframe is light and easily broken. On the other hand, a road vehicle must be able to endure enormous impact loads from both low speed and high speed hits, and the high strength this necessitates can add significant weight. It has a 300 meter takeoff range. The air car reduces the trip to just 300 meters. Moreover, it can achieve speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour and cruise at roughly 190 kilometers per hour in the air when taking off. All of this has been made feasible by outstanding engineering, which has limited the air car's weight to only 1,100 kilograms with an additional 200 kilograms capacity for passengers. Environment a widely used flying car must be able to operate securely in a densely crowded metropolitan setting. In addition, the lift and propulsion systems must be silent and they must not pollute the environment excessively. We are halfway down our list. Please make sure to like and share this video for automobile enthusiasts like you. Now, back on our list. Control. An essential flying car needs both a certified road driver and an aircraft pilot at the controls. Because this is impractical for the majority of individuals, computer systems will be used to de-skill piloting. These procedures include aircraft maneuvering, navigation, and emergency procedures, all of which occur in potentially congested airspace. Fly-by-wire computers can also compensate for flaws in flight dynamics like stability. In the future, a feasible flying automobile could be a fully autonomous vehicle with only passengers on board. It can change in three minutes. The air car must extend its wings and tail section to fly, which takes only three minutes. Since the time you get out of a car at the airport, that's a significant reduction in time it takes to take off in a passenger jet. The car's wings fold upwards before tucking into the vehicle's side, entirely hidden. When the button is pressed, the rear wing expands outwards and retracts when the air car is driven on the ground. Unlike the side wings, it is constantly visible. Cost The requirement for a remote and powerful propulsion system can now only be satisfied by utilizing advanced and expensive technologies. As a result, the manufacturing costs might be as high as $10 million. These flying cars would be utilized for shorter distances, more often, and at lower speeds and altitudes than traditional passenger planes. However, because the best fuel economy for planes is achieved at large sizes and high subsonic speeds, a flying automobile's energy efficiency would be low compared to a typical aircraft. Similarly, the flying car's road performance would be hampered by flight needs, making it less cost-effective than a standard automobile. Getting rid of traffic pollution Traffic congestion produced by road vehicles is one of the most severe issues in most modern cities. Roads created decades ago are incapable of handling the massive number of cars, lorries, and other vehicles that contend for space today. Even while stationary, the bulk of these land-based vehicles consume fossil fuels, emitting various hazardous chemicals in the process. This includes compounds that are directly detrimental to human health, such as pesticides and herbicides. Because these compounds are emitted at all times, switching to electric vehicles that don't produce them, whether land-based electric cars or VTOLs, can be beneficial. Because traffic is less of an issue, fuel can be used more efficiently and isn't spent loitering in gridlock. They can cover shorter distances in the same amount of time. They are keeping with the idea of reduced emissions and improved efficiency. Flying cars can travel from point A to point B in much more direct manner. As a result, less fuel is required, and journey durations are significantly reduced compared to land travel. Land journeys frequently include numerous twists and turns, traffic signals, and junctions, which diminish route efficiency and increase fuel consumption. 
Even though firms like Uber aim for the first commercial flights of electric flying cars in the next few years, there are still many unanswered questions about this technology. Will it be helpful rather than a novelty? And more importantly, will it have a beneficial or harmful environmental impact? According to the current study, they are only worth employing for more extended travels between towns or cities more than 50 kilometers away. The efficient cruise phase and high speeds compensate for the wasteful takeoff and landing stages in this scenario. I don't see how they'll ever function as a realistic transportation solution in our cities unless technology progresses considerably. But I'd love to be proven wrong. In actuality, they will most likely only account for a small portion of future sustainable transportation, along with electric light railroads trams, self-driving automobiles, and other modes of passenger transportation that are currently considerably more efficient. Another crucial issue to remember is that the advantages of electric flying cars or any other electric vehicle should only be considered when we can ensure that their batteries are charged with renewable energy. Yes, even when powered by fossil fuels, they will emit fewer direct emissions from the tailpipes. But this is only part of the problem. As a result, we must continue to strive for renewable grid to fuel these sustainable alternatives. And that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every upload. This is Tech Factuala, and we will see you on our next video.